What's up everybody and today we are reacting to the one man Gurkha army. I've been wanting to react to this for quite some time. I've been recommended this both on my YouTube channel but also on my Discord and through private messages. I think it would be really cool to react to them. I never actually worked with the Gurkhas while in the Royal Marines. However, I did see them around a lot and I really was curious about their regiment and kind of how they went about with their training and stuff so i'm very excited to learn more about the gurkhas and, and start watching some more videos about them apparently this one is really good about this one man gurkha army so very excited to learn more about him um you're probably expecting a halo video today however i'm transitioning my halo videos from xbox one x to pc so it's going to take a couple more days just to get that finalized and get the settings correct. I'm hoping you guys can bear with me with that. Hoping to get the video up on Thursday. I think you guys would appreciate my move to PC. Um, so yeah, just bear with me with that. Sorry, guys. Um, links down below to all the usual stuff. Instagram, Discord, Twitter, website, merch, my second channel, my podcast, and my Twitch stream where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Also, a big thank you to my members. I honestly couldn't make videos every single day if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the channel as much as you do um also uh, the giveaway is happening and i will be announcing the first winner of the giveaway at the end of this video so stay tuned i will also leave a link of the original video in the uh description down below so please make sure you go and give the video original video some love but until then let's uh, pop me head into a little rectangle and let's watch this shall we So definitely go and make sure you send this YouTube channel some love. They totally deserve it for making awesome videos like this, okay? Liveth forevermore. Interesting. It's a cool title. Let's learn more about this Gurkha. On the 17th of September 2010, a platoon from the 1st Battalion, the Royal... 2010. September 2010. That was when 40 Commando was out there. Herrick 12, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong there. It was when 40 Commander was out there. Gurkha Rifles were stationed at two patrol bases near the village of Rahim Calais in the north of Helmand province. Yep, okay. At some point during the day, the bulk of the platoon departed the bases to secure a key road to the east. With two small Classic SA-80 there, A2. He's got his uh, fast reloader there, his speed loader. <laughs> More detachments remaining behind to garrison the outposts. Okay. Tasked with holding the southernmost patrol base were four Gurkhas, among them Sergeant Dibrasad Poon, who in the Set evening of the 17th was on sentry duty on the roof of a two-story compound that was at the centre of the base. Okay. Man in his post for several hours, Sergeant Poon soon began to hear some noises materialising from the other side of the main gate. So the guy was a sergeant, this is a fantastic picture by the way, I love this picture. And as he later recalled, I thought at first maybe it was a cow, but my suspicions soon built up, and I saw two Taliban digging to lay down an IED in front of our gate. Okay, this happens quite a lot. Immediately, the sergeant called out for the two men to identify themselves, but instead of receiving a verbal response, bullets and RPGs began to hit the patrol base, ah. as a significantly larger Taliban force appeared from out of the darkness. That sucks. Realising the outpost was under attack, Sergeant Pun grabbed a nearby radio and informed his platoon commander of the unfolding situation, Fair before one. turning his attention onto the enemy. The guy was a sergeant. He obviously knows exactly what he's doing. He knows his SOPs. He's going by the book here and it sounds like he he's doing everything right so far. As soon as I knew they were Taliban, I thought I was going to die. But as soon as I started firing, that feeling went away. I knew I had to do something before they killed me and my three comrades. Yep. I thought, before they kill me, I have to kill some of them. Good lad. Going down fighting. Good lad. Picking up his SA-80, the Gurkha fired off a rifle grenade at the attacking enemy, prior to detaching a nearby general purpose machine gun from its tripod and returning fire on the advancing Taliban fighters All for right. moving forward from three directions. Okay. Within minutes, however, he had spent all of his machine gun ammunition and so resorted to using a mix of grenades to disrupt the attack, including... So people know this is the GP. Anyone who's not British, this is the GPMG right here. There's a variant on different weapons. This one right here, you can see my mouse. Uh, that looks like the Mini Me, which they call it. Is it a Mini Me? It certainly looks like it. They call it a Mini Me as if it was a, a mini replica of the GPMG. Um, both fantastic, fantastic weapons. Six phosphorus, six fragmentation, and four rifle grenades. Let me rewind that a bit. Ordered to use a mix of grenades to disrupt the attack, 
including six phosphorus, six fragmentation, and four rifle grenades. Once these two had become expended, he picked up his SAAT again, and moving from position to position, he continued to engage the enemy, some yeah. of whom managed to break through his line of sight and reach the compound. So I didn't know whether to mention this or not, because I don't know whether it might be the pictures on YouTube. It looks like he has the green beret. It looks like he has a as a as a green beret. It might be behind me somewhere. Um, I don't know whether it's just the pitch quality and kind of sometimes when when I take pictures of when I was in the Royal Marines, the green beret doesn't look necessarily green. It looks a lot darker. I think that's a green beret, but I can't really tell on my monitor. You might be able to see it on this record in a bit better. Looking for a way to get onto the roof, some of the insurgents began scaling up the building's mud walls, oh, with one geez. fighter reaching the top first and proceeding to rush the Gurkha. Training his SAAT onto the enemy fighter, Sergeant Pun shot and killed the insurgent, okay. seconds before experiencing a weapon malfunction, just as another Taliban fighter appeared on the roof. Oh, so obviously getting a stoppage is not ideal, however, with the training he should have, um, I'm guessing he cleared that stoppage ASAP and cracked right on. Ditching his rifle, the sergeant grabbed the nearby GPMG tripod and held it at the second insurgent, knocking him. So, he ditched his weapon, which makes me believe that he didn't have time to clear the stoppage. He was in desperate, desperate need to rush and rush and rush. This sounds intense. Second insurgent, knocking him unconscious. Wow. Moments after, Sergeant Pun heard several more of the enemy attempting to climb up to the roof, who he pushed back by dropping a sandbag onto one and forcing <laughs> the others to retreat when a claymore mine detonated. Wow. Eventually, after 17 minutes of heavy fighting, the enemy attack had collapsed and what was left of the Taliban force withdrew back in the direction they had come from. Nice, nice. A short while later, British reinforcements arrived at the patrol base to strengthen its defences, yep. where they found an exhausted Sergeant Diprasad Pun still on the roof. I bet. Sergeant Pun later stated, I thought there might have been around 20 to 30 Taliban fighters involved in the attack, but later locals told me it was probably around 15. I know I'm very lucky to be alive. I didn't think the attack would ever end, and I nearly collapsed when it was over. I did what I was trained to do. There wasn't any choice but to fight. In that particular um, situation, he did everything perfect. I'm actually getting goosebumps right now because that is astounding how he actually kind of... He basically basically fought off 15 Taliban fighters, which is just remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. With his rifle getting a stoppage, so he had to ditch his rifle and improvise. Improvise... Adapt and overcome, use sandbags, claymore. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is he not reading this out? Over a course of the engagement, Sergeant Dipasad Pon fired 250 rounds from his GPMG and 180 from his SA-80. Oh my days, he used 17 grenades! A claymore mined, a sandbag, and an MG tripod to fight off the enemy. Oh my days. Think about that for a second. 180 rounds from his SA-80. That is a lot of mag changes, which goes to show, yeah, he probably did get a stoppage within them 180 mag changes, 180 rounds. That is incredible. 250 rounds from his GPMG. 17 grenades. Holy. What an absolute warrior. What an absolute warrior. Wow. That is astounding. For his actions in a, sing in a single handedly hold in single handedly holding the patrol base, Sergeant Pump was awarded the cons conspicuous conspicuous I can't talk. Gallantry Cross <laughs> the second highest military decoration of the British Armed Forces. Wow. He deserves more. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's big. Better to die than to be a coward. Hell yeah. Wow. That is absolutely remarkable. That guy is a machine. He did what he needed to do to survive. He really did. That is astounding. That is an incredible, incredible story. And uh, yeah. He, he will go down in the history books of the British forces as being 
One tough mofo. <laughs> 17 grenades! Mate! Imagine how many key rings he could make with their friggin' pull of the... So, for people... <laughs> it sounds really weird. For people who don't know, you pull the pin from a grenade. It's like a key ring thing. And we used to save them and make key rings out. Any, anyone in the British forces probably knows what I'm talking about. Everyone else is probably like, what's he talking about, key rings? 17 grenades, guys. 180. 180. Where is it? 180 rounds from his SA-80. Holy crap. He's going to have to clean that rifle for a week straight. <laughs> Good lad. That's remarkable. Um, what do you guys think of the story? Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know more about the Gurkhas. Leave me any recommendation videos down below. I will certainly love to check them out. Absolutely astounding. I'm amazed and I'm, I'm happy the guy survived. I'm happy the guy survived uninjured. Well done. All right, we're going to end it there. Um, I want to just give a huge shout out to the winner, Sean Morales. Morales, uh, you're the first winner of the Call of Duty Cold War. Um, you'll expect an email from me very soon. The email will be me basically requesting what console you would like the game on. So definitely check out for your... Have a, have a look in your emails and make sure you kind of keep an eye out. Maybe you're trash or anything like that. Um, so yeah. You won. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm giving away one copy of Call of Duty Cold War every single day, all the way up to the release of Call of Duty Cold War. So stay tuned. There's still time to enter the giveaway. Link down below. Also, you find link down below to all the usual stuff. Instagram, Discord, Twitter, website, merch, my second channel, my podcast, and my Twitch stream, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, however, we're not streaming tomorrow. Um, the guys can't make it, so we're just not streaming tomorrow. So we'll be on on Friday. Um, I will leave a link to the OG video. Please go and send this YouTube channel some love. Uh, this video was obviously brilliant and was very informal and um, informal. Informal. It was very, very well done. How about that? Um, I can't talk tonight, guys. I'm very tired. I've got a newborn baby at home. Give me a break, guys. Give me a break. Um, yeah, so that was a really, really cool video. Um, leave me some more recommendations for... Um, kind of like one-off crazy people, crazy stories during war. Um, this was obviously an outstanding video. I also reacted to that. Um, oh, there was one a while back of, of someone who died um, fighting off Taliban, and it was remarkable. I think he was a SEAL, Navy SEAL, um, and it was genuinely remarkable. Um, so any videos like that, leave the link down below because I love videos like that. I love hearing heroic, incredible stories from outstanding soldiers i think it's inspirational and i think it goes to show that there are people out there who truly are warriors um so yeah love that video anyway I'm, I'm 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 waffling on um tomorrow we've got battlefield 5 part 2 and on thursday we've got halo 2, halo 2 part 4 on the pc and we have uh, battlefield 5 um, part 3 on friday so until next time guys i love you all have a wonderful day goodbye